it should be recording now, I think. So Dungeon Siege 3, uh, let's go to the options and make sure everything is the way I like it. Yeah, everything looks fine. Okay, new game. Adjust the slider into the shape in the center is barely visible. Yes, this is barely visible for me. We are the 10th Legion. Exiles from a dying empire who founded the Kingdom of Ed. For 400 years, we guided and protected our people. We gave them peace, prosperity, fair judgment. Some say it was the death of the old king that turned the people against us. So this game also takes place in the Kingdom of Ebb, which apparently was the setting for the first two Dungeon Siege games. When the last of our legion okay. was Jane Cassinder, beneath the boughs of an ancient hallowed tree. Nor do I know what power she called upon in the forest to murder my comrades and friends. After that, the forest was changed, twisted. So this Jane is the bad Only Jane person, I guess. Alive. Thirty years have passed since the Legion was destroyed. Uh, and suffered in that she's the daughter of the king, and apparently her the king's in the east. Death led to the downfall of the Legion. She grew up as an orphan and rallied the church behind her after her father's death and led a crusade against both her half-siblings and the Legion. Oh, so you were right. I can choose who I want to be. Yes, so as I was saying, you get four main choices. Yep, here. So Lucas, uh, Angeli, oops, Lucas or Angeli it looks like. I only get two, maybe because it's a demo. Oh, okay. So basically I can be either a boy or a girl, it looks like. Angeli is a member of the servant race to the lost creator gods and can shift between human forms fighting fighting with a spear and an elemental fire form. Lucas would be more traditional and fight with a one-handed sword and shield or a two-handed sword. All right. I'm going to take Lucas, because I don't like magic characters, usually. Okay. I guess I'll play at the normal difficulty. I write to you, my young friend, with urgent news. I know your childhood has not been easy. Passed from one sympathetic household to the next... Apparently the gameplay changes very life. slightly. Your and the dialogue as well, to fit your backstory, depending on which character master, you pick. And he would have wanted a better life for his son. But he and your mother are long dead, murdered by Jane Cassinder. As I like the charcoal drawings. Yeah. I've tried my best to keep you safe, to ensure that you are trained in the manner of your forefathers, with sword and shield. But Jane Cassinder hunts for us still. Now I fear that her spies may be Yeah, so Jane us. definitely delay the longer. antagonist. We still have a chance to at least at the beginning together. of the game. I don't know if there will be a plot the twist later on. And take our country back from Jane Cassander before it's too late. The sons and daughters of the Legion are gathering in the north at your family's old estate. I urge you to join us in the Valley of Rukenval as quickly as you can. Help us restore all that was lost. Your faithful friend, Odo. Okay, so walking through the spooky forest. Anytime you help, okay? Survivors. 
This man appears to be descended of Legion. He lies dead with a massive sword wound across his chest. Same, same thing, multiple stab wounds. This guy's arrows. Thought for dead. Uh, doesn't look like there's anyone else outside. So I guess I'll look inside. Probably just a guy over here. Your video. Sorry, go ahead. Your video is a few seconds ahead of mine, so yeah. my commentary may be about things that have already happened. I just found a sword. Oh. Oh, I gotta equip my sword. Okay. This sword is much better, so I'm equipping it. Let's see a treasure chest over here. Oh, and something here. Odo tells us that the Mulmero line is not dead. The son of Hugh Mulmero is apparently still alive, and he'll join us here soon. And the old Grandmaster may have a daughter as well. Tough. Hey, yet? Hey, let? I'm not sure how to pronounce that. <laughs> but it's better than my current stuff, so I'm equipping it. It's a shield? I have no idea what it is. Alright. It looks like a shoulder pad based on the icon that, uh, that they draw here. Okay. So, what is this? We got shoulder pads, gloves, vest. Boots, rings, pendants. Uh, another sword, I guess. If if I want to be two-handed or my shield. Right. Okay. I picked up something green. I don't know what it is. I guess it's my health. And I just realized I'm hurt for some reason. I don't have full health. One, two, three. Seems we have another rat trying to escape the trap. Well, possibly your health might have upgraded when you got a higher sword. That's a good point. Are you fighting that? Yeah, well, the fight just ended now. Yes, now you've won. Good. I don't know where my focus meter is, but okay. Oops. I'm not sure I'm doing that right, okay. Apparently blocking is not a good strategy for me because I don't know how to do it effectively. What is the blue bar? Probably magic. It might be focus actually, but when I was blocking it, it didn't decrease, so... I'm not sure whether it actually is. Oops. Oh. Looks like I killed everyone. Yeah, so I'm not sure if the blue bar is focus, because... Because right, it wasn't decreasing. You could, you could see that you were losing focus, but it didn't seem to be affecting the blue line. Actually, I can't tell if I'm losing focus. I mean, I'm, when I block, oh, nothing okay. nothing changes on the screen, so I don't see where which one is focused. I was afraid everyone oh. else was dead. Are you all right? I'm fine. But who are you? Well, maybe you're not Have blocking for long enough to lose focus. No, but I've seen portraits of the Montbaron family, and you can only be Hugh Montbaron's son. My name is Martin Giscard, and I'm a friend of Odo's, and a son of the Legion like you. I didn't see Odo upstairs. Could he still be alive? I hope so. Those are good-looking shoulder pads. Maybe some of the others are with him. Damn, they found us again. We can't wait any longer. I've set a trap. Odo is a spy. Below. 
Thought I'd cover my escape. He's a former spy me. of the Tenth Legion, and he worked in secret to keep the Come surviving on, members the and descendants of the Legion safe. Okay. This it, I just realized this is one of those RPGs where, like you know, it says what you want to say, and it shows you the two dialogue options. Or, but what it actually like says in there doesn't match what he actually says. Oh. So like I. I wanted to say, where's Odo, but instead I said, I didn't see Odo upstairs. Huh. And there's lots of games, and like most lost. recent games do that these days, the I don't run. like that. Cover your ears. Is it to make it more interesting? I don't know. But like, sometimes I find there's a huge difference between what I wanted to say and what actually get, got said. Right, so now it's not as ruins the uh, immersion for me, because I want to play my character a certain way or part of a certain personality on him, and then I get it, like a completely different personality. And with it, my dream of a right, it gives you choices, yet. but barely. Or so I thought. Misleading choices. I did not know that. Or it perverts the choice. It's like in this, I want to say the nice thing to the guy, and then I, I act like a jerk towards him. Like, that oh. totally ruins my character, because I okay. want him to be a nice guy. Pursued by enemies. I have noticed that fire plays a large part in this game. Made your way across the empty you know that in only the, the 10 minutes of gameplay that we've done so far? Everything has been on fire. That's a good that point. The devastation, and that they reach the safety of the One of the uh, stereotypes about game design is, like when you run out of ideas, you make a fire level, you make a, a nice level. It's because uh, tradition demands it, I guess. Right. So maybe this was the fire level, and next we get the ice level. We can only hope. And then we will it's have beaten the game. It's already a cold, a cold night. Right. Well, they are Jungian archetypes, so I suppose that makes sense. I know this part of the valley. We've come a long way. I think we're close to the old Legion chapter house. If any of our friends is still alive, the Legion have a chapter Oops, house here. I interrupted him. In this valley. They built chapter houses in every part of that, even in remote places like this. There were strongholds where legionnaires would meet, sometimes in fellowship, sometimes for war. You should have seen the grand chapter house in Stonebridge, headquarters for the whole legion. My father took me inside it once. Tell me about the attack. What do you remember? Odo sent letters to all the descendants of the legion. He oh, yes, now I can see your choices. Train them as legionnaires and take back the country. Most had already arrived when the mercenaries found us. They surrounded the estate. Must have killed the men who were on watch. They smashed through the windows and the doors, slaughtered everyone they could find. Then they set fire to the house. Did you see what happened to Odo? The stubble no. on the character the animation is a nice stuff. touch. I think the to eyebrows the should have been thicker, though. Those mercenary Something is oddly. See, I asked who are those mercenaries, and instead I, he, he says, people. did you fight the mercenaries the before? The Which is not my question. I have no my idea question is, who are they? <laughs> well, maybe you're translating it into them. whatever language no, these people speak. Real enemy hasn't shown himself or herself. Not yet. And How it loses a little something in translation. Almost 40. All sons and daughters it just, of It's one of the... My pet Some peeves, I guess, about video games, wars, especially the RPGs, rest. where like there I really no want to get into the the mindset or we the role of the main character. Survived, mm -hmm. But most of them are dead. My Our guess is they've done it to make it more rewarding to read it, so that you don't right. end up reading Maybe the same thing twice. If he's I've never been here before. You don't. Yeah. Read. Well, I mean, what some games do. Is that they, they don't have your character have a voice, like a voice actor, sure. right? So when you click on it, you just hear the response. You don't have an actor rereading your line. Oh, I see. At this point, can you hear an actor reading those lines? Yeah, like when my character speaks, there's a voice actor, and when his character speaks, there's also a different voice actor. Oh. I was having to do the voices in my head. You said this is hard country. Are there any dangers I should know about? Spiders. I just noticed this guy has like a, a wolf man, head on his smart. chest. I think it's supposed lion. to be a lion. Lion, yeah, sorry. And there's yes. worse things in the forest. Have you heard of the Dakin? And I think the Beast Lords. Blood? In other parts of yeah, the world, there's a bit on his arms. Out here, 
You know what? Yes. I'm getting pissed Thank off you. by this dialogue, so that's I'm just gonna end it. Okay. Sorry, I couldn't tell. Let's yeah, keep yeah, moving. Let's go. We can talk more later. You're right. The chapter. I like that there's good. always an "I've Follow heard me. enough" option. Oh, what's this thing? Demoaton. The ebb cancel of time space reversal has prohibited saving in the. Oh, so it's a save point, but you can't save the demo. Okay. Okay. If our enemies knew we were at the estate, they may have guessed that we'd make a run for the chapter house. No help for it, though. That's where we agreed to meet. We'll have to stay sharp. Looks like a shield. They could come for us anywhere, at any time. So what's this shield? It's, it's a better shield, so I guess I'll equip. Actually, I don't like shields anyway, so maybe I just hold two swords. If I can. Nope. I've heard that blocking drains your focus. Yeah, and but I haven't figured out how to. No, you're put two swords. You can't. Your choices are sword and shield or a two-handed sword. Oh, okay. See, it's giving you tips on whether or not you should do a one-handed or two-handed stance. Right. I want to hold one sword in each arm though. Military cap. I think it thinks that would be terrible and you would likely end up cutting off your own face. They should add that dialogue. So, there's a bounty on our heads. That means they know we're alive. We might find out what they're planning. So I got another shield. I think I got the same shield. Like a duplicate. I came around for treasure. Yeah, another shield. And yet another shield again. Okay, let's see. What's the difference between all these shields? So this one is better at blocking, apparently. So let's try it out. This there it is. is. The bridge to the chapter house. Only accessible in the retail version. Okay. <laughs> and he wants me to cross the bridge. And I'm just gonna see Another if there's. Camp. They've hired a whole army. Guys. <laughs> Let's head back to the chapter house. They do not seem to be doing much damage to you. Yeah, I've already killed them actually, like a while ago. <laughs> One thing that I have noticed about this game is that it seems to sort of spoon feed things to you a little bit with those hand yeah. signs like, hey, explore this. Right. There seems to be a little bit less figure things out on your own. Yeah. Well, most modern games are like that these days. Are they? They don't like, uh... They don't... for you to get lost. I don't mind if they prevent you from getting lost, or like if trouble up ahead. maybe there are things built in if you are really gone astray or have not That's been able safe. to figure something out for a oh, long time. Uh, but this like one is sort of like, hey, you might want to come check this out Out's over here. We have no business with you. Spoken like a man of the Tenth Legion, arrogant and foolhardy. Lucky for me, I found you first. That means I'll get a handsome bonus for your heads. Who's paying this bonus for killing me, Janae? Oh, they're gonna kill him. All right. I don't get paid no? for answering fool wow. questions. I get paid for killing legionnaires. Lively up, boys. It's time to earn some gold. Oops. Okay, let's see. Switch to my two-handed. Oh man, that guy's throwing stuff at me. 
Perhaps a shield would be helpful. I, is that my friend or a bad guy? No, that's my friend. And I'm almost dead. <laughs> yeah, they're switched back to it. You're very quickly losing health. Yeah, but apparently I can heal myself. Oh. It's convenient. It looks like a tree just popped out of nowhere right before the uh, transition to the next scene. If we're lucky. Odo is on the other side of this gate. Oh, yeah, okay. It's a camera thing. It just faded out the tree if I walk behind it. Oh, I see. Is that Odo? Was he hiding while we were actually doing the fighting? Both of you? I thought I... I was the only one left. Odo, you made it. But where are... The others? The men and women I've kept safe so for Odo thirty just years. appeared on my screen. Dead. Okay. All of them. Who else could have survived? We need to find them. Okay, I asked what's the plan, but apparently I'm telling him what the plan Archer. is. I sent her to keep watch for latecomers. She wasn't at the estate when we were attacked. And there's another survivor too. The half bloodless Gonzi girl. I couldn't convince her to join us before. But things are different now. Might have been one or two others who hadn't arrived yet when we were attacked. If they're alive, I'll find them. Martin, you better stay here. I agree. You're bleeding. Keith Does that say half blonde? Stand up. I'll do what I can for Martin. I don't see that no anywhere. You, not like this. I'm sorry. You'll be on your own until you find the others. I'll do this alone then. Oh, that's Head right. I just realized you can't hear the audio. Just cross I cannot. the bridge and turn right at the crossroads. Try to find Lazar Basili, the town boyar. He's an old friend and he'll help us if he can. And be careful. Those mercenaries are still here in the valley. Keep your eyes sharp and come back safe. I level up. Congratulations. So this game seems light on action. Is that just well, because I'm guessing it's, it's supposed playing to be... the backstory? Yeah. Or is it because it's the demo? No, I guess it's because it's trying to show the backstory. So this is what young kids do instead of reading these days. Yes, exactly. I don't really get uh, how this works, but I mean... You're purchasing abilities. Yeah, but all of these abilities suck. And the, the lock here means I can't get them probably, but what does this grayed out thing mean? Well, it looks like you only have one ability point. Well, I just spent it, I guess. Oh, okay, I can't actually buy these ones because I already have them. So I have to choose amongst these. What did you I decide on? The leftmost one. I don't even know what it was. But I also have proficiency points now. So how much do those types of things really change your fortunes in a game? My fortunes? Not sure what you mean by that. The specific abilities and level of proficiency that you've set, how much is that really going to affect your character's gameplay? Well, if it if there are brand new controls, 
then I have to learn how to use those. Like, you know, maybe... Up to now, I've only been using the A and the X button. I don't know what Y and B is going to do. But I might get a new attack that says now you have to press B to, to activate this. Or, uh... Or else... Maybe it's gonna add like some games add a mini game. Maybe like you have to do a perfect timing of an attack to get something. Mm -hmm. I was thinking more. So if two people picked the same character but picked different abilities and set the proficiency levels at different rates, would they would one have a better chance of getting through the game really than another? Could or be. is this really just to keep you? sort of hooked into the game, interested in the game. It, it could... either way. The psychology of it is interesting by awarding these points that are likely meaningless. You're, they are rewarding to your brain and then you get to spend them, which your brain also enjoys. So it's hooking you in for something that likely is essentially meaningless. Oh, actually this one's pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead victory rush. Yeah, some games, like, doesn't make a difference what you do. Other games, it makes such a big difference that if you pick the wrong ones, you just can't win, and then if you had saved, like, after picking it, then you're, you have to start the game over because you just fucked yourself. Interesting. It's usually considered a design flaw if if it's possible to fuck yourself over like that. Yeah, I don't want to read all these books. I'm playing video games to not read books. I feel like this one, this game was almost designed by like a librarian who was really hoping that children would read. There's a... this other game you should check out called Oblivion. And they are just like sometimes you go into a room and they're just rows and rows of books and every single one you can read. Wow. But uh, when I say a book, it's like they go from like three paragraphs to twenty paragraphs. Right. That and that's one book. <laughs> I just want to go fight stuff. And now I got a power sphere. I'm I'm getting too much stuff too fast. I think <laughs> they should just let me fight, you know, so I can see the applications of the stuff I just acquired, and then the stuff you have, and then give me more stuff later on after I figured out how to use the stuff I already have. Like what is this? Like there's nothing here, but it says activate. So I don't know if this is gonna teleport me to like another realm where oh, it doesn't actually do anything. And I, I'm not sure where I'm supposed to go if I want to go kill people some more. Like I said, this seems low on the killing things. In the first, or maybe it's the second dungeon siege, I can't remember, but you started off as a farmer and like right off the bat these goblins came and started attacking your farm. So, See, like, that's fantastic. Yeah, so you... Oh, I got the staff. And it says I can't I actually already. use the staff. Oh. Not something your character can use. Apparently. Right, so there was never any question of where you're supposed to go, you, you know. Uh, you no. You start killing goblins. Because I guess they're, they're messing up your, your crop and stuff. I hear spiders, and I see spiders. Am I going to have to fight them? I guess so. Okay, and they, they, when you kill them, little baby spiders come out. Excellent. I cannot wait until that is on my screen. Ah, there they are. There's a little clock on my head. I forgot what it said. It said two-handed is better for you when you're surrounded, or or one-handed is better for when you're surrounded. It said one or the other is better. 
Okay, thanks. Oh, I see the little baby spiders are in the spider eggs. And when I punch the eggs, the spiders come out. Which of course means I'm gonna go around punching all the eggs to get the maximum number of baby spiders to kill. Well, they don't seem particularly dangerous to you. The area you're trying to enter is filled with quicksand, lava, and undead mules. It is currently off limits. Try again in the retail version of Dungeon Siege. Okay, so what, what the hell am I supposed to do? I guess I should have paid attention to the dialogue when they were talking. You're supposed to be trying to find someone? Yeah, there's, there's two people the I'm supposed to find. But, you know, I've explored this entire building and... Or am I supposed to like go out the door that we came in from, perhaps? Or maybe I'm supposed to walk towards that little wing icon on the map. I can try the wing thing, and if it doesn't work out, just try walking outside from the entrance that we came in from. Okay. Oh, the wing thing is this thing, which if I recall correctly, yeah, I can't actually do anything. I guess the wing is maybe like a, a pen, like a, a bird feather pen thing to represent recording your save game. Head west and turn right at the crossroads. Okay, head west, he says. And I guess he means when you're outdoors, head west. So this way is north, so that way must be west. They said turn right when you. Yeah, okay, so it says expected. You go outdoors and then you go to the only place you can go before. So the only dangerous thing that was in there was the spiders. Yeah. I think it's two-handed if you're if there's a bunch of people around you, and one-handed when you're just trying to kill one guy. Oh man, that guy has a gun. I want a gun. It's too bad. Um, when you kill them, you can't just pick up the gun off his body. You get loot that way. Right. Is there a guy there? I guess not. I thought I saw a guy going there though. This sword looks pretty good. So I feel like with these gentlemen with the guns, it's going to make using your shield important at some point. Yeah. If you, if you face higher level. I guess. You are good at dodging, so I suppose you could continue with that strategy. Wait a second, swift broadsword, great sword. Oh, I see, I have two sets of weapons because some of these weapons um, are for when I'm using a sword and a shield and some are for when I'm yes. using two-handed. Yes. I believe... Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> All of the characters that I just you could got play. Surrounded by like 20 guys and I'm almost dead. How do I heal again? I think it's this button. I might die here. Oh, let me pick up that green thing. There we go. So 
right. Gotta get all the loot also, looks like it. That's convenient that you can also heal yourself. Yes. See, I like vandalizing random barrels I see along the way. Carving Lucas was here? No, just exploding them. Oh. It says that his, um... His body has been stripped of flesh and his bones have been gnawed by sharp tin teeth. The tracks around the body lead into the water. So I guess I'm going to walk into the water to see uh, what it is that, you know, bit him. I would watch out for sharks. But apparently the game doesn't let you walk into the water. So. Now people are fighting again. This does not seem to be a heavily skill-based game. Yeah, well RPGs tend to focus um, character skill rather than player skill. In mm. the sense that you know you just keep fighting and then you get these so-called experience points which make your characters more skilled regardless of how skilled you as a, as a player is. R. R. In what way is that? Aren't you? you are. <laughs> Bad idea coming here. You as a player are. Why would you say that? But at what point is, is that different the from? The real is an occupied Just one town. of those. Not sure how you got this far. Games on Facebook about. where you just keep doing it to get the experience points. I dealt with some mercenaries. Um, I don't play the Facebook more. games, so I don't know. But. Won't matter. The of the village From what I understand, the Facebook games the are more about uh, how much time you invest. Do you know where I can Which I guess RPGs are the thing. same thing, because you spend time no, grinding. I haven't seen him. Right. No. And I'm getting tired of talking to this guy. I've no. Open the. Thank you. Search the town. It says. Is it true? The old estate was burned to the ground. I'm sure it will tell you where to search. It doesn't actually, but it looks like there's more or less just a one path you can take in your search. That's, that's what I meant. There's a fork here, Get but out of town while you still can. one path is more obviously a dead end than the other, so I'll explore the dead end first so that I don't have to come back to it if it turns out that I was wrong about which way I was supposed to go. Nothing here. Try the other path. Yeah, so um, RPGs spend a lot of time grinding to level up. Facebook spend time the doing I don't know what because I don't bridge. play those Any hope of is games. Essentially, you just push buttons until you level up. So, same thing, I guess. I should have moved That's the comparison I was chance. making. Astutely. Your face is astutely. It's probably true. The mercenaries have witches with them. A score of them, or more. A score of witches. Sodding scones, you're what did you find? Like it was time. This villager was telling me uh, the mercenaries have a score of witches. Ah. Uh, one of the four characters that you can play. In this hot girl just version. came up and started talking to me. We are old friends, yes? Or even lovers, Is it perhaps? Katarina? Yep. Yes. And she's saying she wants me to pretend that I'm her lover. Yes. So I say, yes, I'll play along. Then of course you do. Miss. 
I think Catherine, I just found the appeal of this one, game. <laughs> I might take your arm. She is a witch. You, see, you can, in the full version, she can. You can be town. her as a character. An army of Lescanzi mercenaries is hiding in the upper rill, behind the walls. More of them are in the forest, outside of town. Although, they once again, wearing clothing that friends. would not really be suitable for them. fighting. She's not taking any chances. I don't know which ones. I guess I'll say explain you a say trap. this town is a trap. What's your role in it? I am the bait. I was told to watch for legionnaires and to warn the others if I found you. They would come running from all directions, and you would be caught or killed. But my sister and I have other plans, so the trap won't be sprung. Bad luck for my employer, yes? You're a Lisconsi. You betray your own people? I decide who my people are and who they are not. My loyalty does not come at a price. See, um, the text where, like, when I have to choose what I have to say, so I'm staring there, right? That just happens to be where her cleavage is. Just happens to be. There's nothing you can do. I'm listening. Tell me the rest. Follow you want to look in her eyes, respect her as a right, but then how do I know what I'm going to say, right? So I have to. Her name is Leona. There's nothing else you can do. Yeah. Very well. I'll find your sister and see what she has to say. We shouldn't be seen together. I'll take a different path and meet you later, if I can. Also, I enjoy that she has eyeliner on, because apparently, even in this world, you wear eyeliner. Oh, I can buy stuff at the store. Okay. The mercenaries oh, no. Nope. They were talking about them. this thing over here. A score of them, or more. Where is that? Is this the store here? Oh, where the money pouch is, obviously. Okay. Um, There's a... There's yeah. literally a glowing exclamation point. Okay. No need to rub it in. I guess I'll just sell everything because I'm not using any of this stuff. Right. Maybe I'll keep the staff because apparently I can't use it, but maybe the next person I meet will be able to use it. Right. Maybe I'll buy this ring. Did I buy it? I can't tell if I bought it or not. Oh no, I didn't buy it because I don't have enough money. Okay. How much better I have? 600. Does anything here cost less than 600? Nope. So I don't have enough money to buy anything. Oh, this was the exclamation mark you're talking about. Yes. I heard that everyone in the Legion was killed, yet here you stand. Perhaps you can help me. Oh, a side when the quest. The took the town. One oh, of no. stole something of great importance. I'd like the Legion to get it back. Okay, whatever it is that he stole, I'll find, your property I'll find it. Do you Didn't know the we name see the, the same character before? I think they just they recycled faces. Autocar. Oh. He camps with the rest of the well, mercenaries seems lazy. in the forest to the west. Okay, go to the forest in the west. That's what he said. So I'm heading west. Along the way there's another guy. A better request for me, I guess. Have a care with all that boot stomping. You'll scare the fish. Do you get money for doing these quests? If the fish aren't fighting I don't know. here, why not find another spot? I don't need to find another spot. I know the best fishing hole in the valley. Problem is, I just can't fish there no more. Something nasty took up residence in my favorite pond. Last I'm a legionnaire. Is there anything I can do to help? Not sure why you'd want to tangle with that thing, but if you can put it down, I'd be happy as a fly in the outhouse. Of course, I need proof of Where can I find this creature? This looks like the same guy, Head just east with a town and look for a pond. <laughs> like a little disguise. You'll find <laughs> Here, take some of my secret bait with you. When you find the pond, toss it in the water. Okay, so this guy says go east and then south to find the pond where the monster is. And. The first guy said go west to catch the thief. So, 
So I'm gonna go west go in first. some direction. I'm gonna serve the west one. Yes. And then I gotta remember to go east afterwards. Because it doesn't look like there's markers on my map r reminding me, you know, that this is the way I'm supposed to go. Well, it seems like things only go east west. Well, now I'm heading north, and I'm not sure that's the right thing to do. Apparently I'm dying again. People to fight, so that's good. So this is the problem, is you see those archers are shooting at you, and you don't have a shield. completely nullified damage it seems. So I'm going more north and I don't know if this is the right way to go. Probably not. Well maybe because he said he was with mercenaries. What's this blue thing? Is it a monster? Can't attack it. I think you did want to go into a cave. I think this is the, the cave where the main quest is. You know when, when the witch said uh, or when Katarina said find her sister? Oh. I think it's this case. So I don't want to do that yet. First, I want to catch the guy who stole the stuff, and then um, help the fishermen fish again, or something like that. Oh yeah, here's. Yeah. There seems to be a icon on your map. Yeah, I'm not is sure that what that is yet. To be heading for? Oh goodness. I get it. Anytime I want to do like a special attack, it's X. And apparently I earn focus really fast, so I might as well like just keep using it over and over again. For blocking? No, uh, it costs focus oh, for, to do... For X attacks. Yeah. Some sort of Hochberg of rage. Hold, hold back. I don't know how sad either. But I got the guy's statue, so I guess I'll go return it to him. Wait, that was it? That was that was it. That was the Otto Burke guy. Or I forgot wow. his name, but the guy who stole the statue. Alright. So I, I find the, the little numbers to be sort of distracting. Those numbers are how much damage I'm dealing, I guess. I, I understand. And then when it says the word critical, it's a critical hit. I just, I find them sort of distracting. It's not like you could be doing the math while you're fighting. Well, you can watch the numbers and, and see, like, wow, this weapon really sucks, you know, because my last weapon was, like, doing 100 Did and now I'm only doing 20. Did you find my statue? I guess. Indeed. I believe this belongs to you. Excellent. You've renewed my faith in the Oh, now he has a glowing sure. question mark over him. This is the part where you ask for a reward. Yes? So I can ask for a reward. I can ask for money, information, or say no reward. What do you think I should do? What would your character do? I don't know, because I don't like my character. He doesn't say what I want him to say. Well, information seems boring, so I would either ask for money or no reward. Okay. Of those two. <laughs> I feel like you would ask for money, and I would say no reward. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go with no reward, just to find out. You see, my motivation here is, does the game reward you for being 
uh, good or generous, I, I guess. Right. And Just say no reward and see what happens. Right. And the earlier you are in the game, the more likely the rewards are going to be small, right? So what I give right. up is probably... Minimal. Right. You've been robbed once today, Anton. I'm not going to make you pay for your own promises. Also, this way you'll know what happens if you say no well reward is necessary. I would have taken the gold, but perhaps that is why okay. I'm not a legionnaire. So apparently, now I have to ask for information. Oh. I need to know where I can find Lazar right. Basili. He may be dead, but I can't be certain. Lazar's scribe Grigori might know something more. Farewell, Anton. And a good day to you, legionnaire. It says Medallion of Saint Elise. So did I get the medallion because I chose no money or I would have gotten that anyway? Yes or no. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go east now to deal with that fisherman's problem. Something about a pond. Yeah, I have to go throw bait in. Make a monster come out and then beat up the monster, I guess. Oh, is that where the monster was with the, the or the body that had been dragged away with the sharp teeth? Possibly. Probably you couldn't do anything there earlier. Because I needed the bait. Right. What are you using for bait? I don't know. He gave me something. Oh, he says great. uses this bait. Oh, great. Use Jacob's secret bait. Okay, here we go. Nishemu is, and there's two of them. Three of them, in fact. Those are kind of cool looking. Okay, I I realize. You don't lose focus just for holding your shield up, but you do lose focus if you're holding your shield up and it blocks an attack. Right. It probably told us that earlier. special type of glove, apparently. Oh, well you didn't have special gloves before, so that's great. Oh, I had Cooters of Rage. Oh. And now there's little dots telling me exactly where to go, I guess? Wow. Yikes. How did I make that happen? Oops. Oh. I zoomed. I'm trying to figure out how they made those little dots appear, because, you know, if I'm feeling lazy, it'd be nice to have them again. There's only one way to go! Not always. Right, but right now. Yeah, but I mean, in the future, it might be handy. So I'm trying to make those little dots appear again. Maybe it was your brilliant gloves. Good point. Okay, here's the fisher guy. You're still alive? Maybe you're tougher than you look. Is the lousy beast dead? It's dead. Here's one of its teeth. Well, call me a Krug-loving mule. I can't believe it. I'm guessing you'll be wanting that reward then. So now I can ask reward again. And this time I'm definitely asking for money. A donation does not in any way surprise me. To its rightful place. I'm not a rich man, but you deserve this, friend. I'll leave you to your work. Right. See you around. Yep, I got an item, like a shield, plus money. So there's no point in ever refusing rewards, it seems. <laughs> it's probably random. It's a very good shield, in fact.
Now I gotta talk to this Grigori guy, I guess. Grigori. News of your deeds spread quickly throughout the town. He looks like Santa Claus. Perhaps the Legion is not as feeble as the Lascanzi would have us believe. Does it look like Santa Claus, or does it look like all the other guys but with a Santa Claus beard on? And a little wool cap, I guess. Oh, he's a little... he's like a little heavy set, which is... Like, seems us. It just seems unusual that they would bother to animate him slightly heavy set. Oh, he wants to come with me and fight. Are you trained with the blade? Sadly, I am a scribe no, by wait, trade and he can't. I, I could ask him if he wants to fight with me, but he says then no. Carry a message to Odo in the Legion chapter house. Ah. Tell him what's happened to Lazar. If, if he wants to come with you, he'd need a better tunic. That's unfortunate. Also, he seems to be wearing a sweatband around his head. Oh, no, that's the cap, I thought. Like, it's the rim of his little cap. Okay, so back now I gotta rescue that, um, the sister. Oh. In that oh, okay. cave. Maybe it is. Alright, go rescue the sister in the cave. I'm trying to see if it is it faster to just walk or faster to roll. It looks like it's faster to walk. I feel like I should be offering play-by-play -play commentary, but it would be like a minute behind. Yeah. I guess, like, the best strategy for you is to um, talk about long-term events that are happening. Long-term events. Oh good, you've come. I was beginning to fear my sister was too late. And I was told you had some information I interrupted that her again. Straight to business, then. Oh, are you talking to someone? Yeah. You weren't the only one who escaped the slaughter oh. at the estate. But the others were soon recaptured or slain. Please, tell Seriously, me more. that's the outfit Time she chooses to wear. I offer you this. You live in a cavern, for Christ's sake. The prisoners cages. If you hurry, they might still be saved. What kind of opposition can I expect? Doubtless you have faced Lesconzi mercenaries already. More await you below. But you've made it this far. They should prove little challenge. Every girl in this game is hitting on me. The witches may give you more pause. Their spells are deadly, and they have power over the dead. Be wary. But what happened? Over, be quick. Didn't Very the well. other character I'll want you to pretend you guys were lovers? Turns out to be genuine, yep. you'll have my thanks. In what way did you pretend? By talking I'm to her? To see yeah, I guess so. About you. Okay. Go now. It would be better if I were elsewhere. Perhaps we'll Seems speak possibly again less than convincing. Is How is she hitting on you? I was like, tell me what I have to do, and then she's like, uh, oh, you want to go straight to business? What a pity. Uh. Finalizing some boxes and some arrows here. I have to free all the prisoners, apparently. Okay. Except Tachi gave me a key, but apparently this door is locked, and I guess the key that I have doesn't work. Or I misunderstood and she never actually gave me a key. There seems to be somebody shooting arrows at you. Well, I didn't notice that, but right now, I just killed the guy who was shooting a gun at me. Oh, okay. Perhaps that was it.
I have not come yet to the part where you're not doing too well. Uh. Whoa, I just... The guy fell off the cliff after I killed him. Yeah, when I swim, I swim when the final blow, they like, go flying. Like, way more than you would expect. Oh, you leveled up. Well, I have to give them points for the bodies going flying. I feel like that's a good feature. So you see there's, yeah, you, you're... There's these guys who are shooting arrows at you who Yeah. Oops. You should try and take get practiced at taking them out first. Okay. There seem to be some glowing lights on the floor again. Yeah, I think that's the direction I'm supposed to go in. And I, I think I figured out how to do it, but I'm in the middle of leveling up right now. Yes, you have to purchase some proficiencies and such. The same thing happens in Mafia Wars. That's your favorite one? <laughs> it's just a common one that people play on Facebook. So this one sounds like it restores your mana, but I haven't really had a mana problem. Is that where you get your focus from? Yeah. Mm. This one says I might heal every time I uh, defeat an opponent. I guess that's the best one. Definitely. So talents are different than abilities? I guess so. Alright. Yeah, I can always find out. Actually, it's telling me to go this way, but there's a little dead-end nook over here, which might have treasure in it, so maybe I'll go check that out. You're being chased by... Pads are the same. Crappy gloves. Things you can sell. Interesting shield, but I think my current shield is better. Just by virtue of it costing three times as much. Hmm. I thought someone was chasing me, but they're all gone. Now it looks to me like you can sort of see them on your map as little green things. I'm not sure. No, if that's those little true. green things are um, save points. They're the feathers. Oh, are you sure? I think so. Okay. You wait. You mean on, on the little map in the top right corner, or the yes. main big screen everywhere? On the little map. No, I, I think you can't see them on there. Cause like there's three guys around me right now, and I don't see any dots on the uh, on that little map. Okay.
it's interesting that they make it so that you can destroy the crates and barrels and things like that, but there's nothing in them. Well, sometimes I find money inside. And there's those green sparks which heal me, apparently. Mm -hmm. When I killed him, he blew up the, the ramp. That was nice. You're killing them so hard, it's causing a slight disturbances in the graphics. It's probably just the, um, the video recording program I'm using, actually. Sure. Let's see. Sword. Don't want the sword. Don't want the shield. This one must be a boss. This is the first boss you've encountered, or did the spiders count as a boss? That auto guy count as a boss, I think. Oh, okay. So this is the first time I've noticed the health bar at the top for the enemy. Yeah, that other guy had it also. Did he? Apparently these shoulder pads are better. Now there's a witch. It seems the dark sister smiles on us. And she, she doesn't look hot, so I guess she's a bad guy. <laughs> Release your prisoners and leave in peace, and I'll spare your lives. Ha! <laughs> you are a bold one, but I'm afraid not. I fear my employer far more than I fear you, little legionnaire. But now that you are here. You have saved us the trouble of hunting you down. There's too many people in this. Oh, I'm almost dead. Oh, I can't even see what I'm what's going on. It's the camera. Oh, I can't get out of here because it's locked. Okay. Consider healing yourself if you can. What on earth are those? They're a sperm 20 times the length of the uh, creature that released it. Yeah. They do seem to be. Yes. I wonder what they're supposed to be. That's exactly what they look like. I think I killed everyone else so now. Just kill the boss. What's she doing here? Is she healing? Oops. Apparently hurting me. Oops. And she teleports too. So she can make like new bad guys appear. Yes. And her freaking sperm's chasing me. They're heat seeking. Just uh. like in real life. And when she's doing that summoning thing, I don't know how to 
can stop her. Because it hurts me to just stand next to her. Right. Uh, and apparently it hurts me to stand far away from her too. <laughs> and now there's a giant black ball floating slowly across the room. I'm going to be doing a lot more tucking and rolling. There's that black ball again. Well, apparently I'm invincible while I'm rolling around like that, so... Oh, that's helpful. Where is she? It seems, from my vantage point, like when you hit her in the back, you do some damage. Well, I mean, I'm slowly winning the battle. She's down to half health. Right. I wonder if I can free the prisoners while this fight's going on. It doesn't look like it. It doesn't look like you're allowed, really, to show much initiative in this game. I mean, look, there's someone in there holding a staff, so clearly she's going to help me fight as soon as I release her. But the game doesn't let me release her until I finish off the boss alone, I guess. That's so funny that you're able to identify the enemy based on the lack of slutty clothing. Guess I'll get this. This recharges my mana because I did start to run out of mana during this fight. Now I free the prisoner, I guess. Thank you for releasing me. She's pretty I slutty, actually. Her clothes riches. here. It oh, I can't wait. It looks like a simple cage, but it's not. I tried to burn my way out. Somehow it's proof against fire. Odo and Martin are waiting. They sent me oh, to find survivors. Oh, really? That's what they're going Odo with. Odo is alive? Take me to him. I promise I can hold my own if it comes to like, a fight. Like, it, there's a slightly darker spot on her. Like, I can't tell if, if it's translucent and you're slightly seeing her nipple or if it's just shadow. I think it's Help. purposely ambiguous, but it does look like she's lopsided. <laughs> Oops. Oh, now I'm choosing her abilities. So do I want to give her spear, summon jack? Oh, summon jack. Oh, that's always good. I like summoning stuff. So who is this that you found? An Anjali? Angeli, yes. She's one of the characters that you can also... Do you remember at the beginning you had two choices? Yep. She was the other one. She can... She's mythical. She can fight with a spear or in an elemental fire form.
Thank you. Are you a legionnaire too? I knew there must be a few of us left. Wasn't sure you'd find me here though. At least not in time. I don't like this guy's face. We need to get you out of here. You should be safe to head back to the chapter house. Guess I owe you one. All right, I'll like meet you at the chapter house. And be careful. Okay, which way does this go? Tell me dots this way. Oh, look, there's a girl well, there. You certainly handle wow. That with more than I, I never saw her lower body before, Bravo, but it's just as slutty as her upper body. Now then, Excellent. Since you've accomplished your goals, I wonder if you wouldn't be willing to do me a favor. Oh, really? Okay. Now, the way she phrased it, she put like, what, a triple negative in there? Uh... I wonder if you wouldn't be willing to do me a favor. That means... So if I say no, that means I don't want to do the favor? Or it means... No to wouldn't be, meaning yes, I am willing to do the favor. Uh, if you say no, then you're not willing. Of course, then you are willing. How did I know you were going to want something out of me? Oh, come now, darling. After all I did for you, you can certainly spare a little time to help Oh, look, she's flirting with you too. I have come into possession of a key. A key that opens the gates of Gunderic Manor. I need a big strapping man to go in ahead she of She needs a big strapping safe. man. So naturally, I thought of you. Well, she might want to look at someone else then. Since she flattered me so much, I'll accept the quest. Alright, <laughs> give me the key. I'll go look into it. Wonderful. Such generosity deserves an immediate reward. So I'll tell you what I know of those who hunt you. The attack on the Montberin estate. Lisconzi mercenaries did the bulk of the fighting, but their leader was a woman named Rejani. That's not much to go on. Can you tell me anything about her? I do not know who she is, or perhaps what she is is more apropos. But she has great wealth behind her. She hired half the Lescanzi clans in Southern Ebb and marched them here to stop you. To stop the Legion from being reborn. You might be interested to learn that she has bivouacked herself in the town hall. If you desire vengeance, that is where you should dialogue. Go. I appreciate your candor. Yep. That information will be very useful. I'm trying to end it quickly now. Information is only the barest glimpse of what I offer. Ours could be a very Apparently that information is going to be very useful. Here then, take the key. I will see you again after the manor's current residents have been evicted. That door oh, I think she just promised you sex. The dark sister yep. go with you, and the faithful hound guard your path. So this is the way I have to go. I love these Pac-Man dots. I don't have to think or anything. Oh, another sister. Okay. Ah, there you are. <laughs> I wanted to thank you for trusting me, in spite of my Lescanti blood. Where will you go now? I will rejoin my family, dearest. Hardship though it would be to part from you. She's flirting with me. I do hope to see you again soon. Why am I not surprised? More enemies. They know we're here. The mercenaries are returning from Raven's Rill. I'm going to ask her to hang out you, with me. Think. Will you help me fight them? No. If they see me, and she said no. They will know that Leona has betrayed them. Faithful hound protected. This is the same one from before, right? Yeah. Katarina? Yeah. Can't believe you already got shot down. Maybe she likes bigger shoulder pads. <laughs> I'm just got some new shoulder pads, so let's equip them. <laughs> got some better gloves too. I was using shoulder pads metaphorically. Got a better sword also. Wow, my sword is like glowing green. But, uh, oh, wow. I think I also want to give my partner 
or improve the weapons that my partner has. I'm not sure how to do that. Maybe this is how. Yep, that this is indeed how. Okay. So give her the better staff. That's basically it. Did I equip my medallion? Yes, I did. Okay. Did you just pick up something? If so, that's good because uh, now I don't have to pick everything up myself. I can have the computer pick up my crap for me. <laughs> God forbid you have to do anything in Oops. this game. A movie starting. Tenth Legion. Warriors of virtue. What? Betrayed by the very people they once swore to protect. Now faced with a kingdom in turmoil, the few surviving members must take up arms to return oh. peace to the land. You are one of their number. I guess this is the end of the demo. It's showing advertisement for the, the game now. Oh, sure. Okay, I see. So if you had to consider at that point whether this is a game that you wanted to purchase and put into your repertoire, what would you say? Definitely I'll get it eventually. I don't know if I'm gonna buy it at release date. Like, I don't think it's worth $50, for example. Oh, wow, that's a lot. Yeah, most like big-name games, when they get released, go for about that much. But then, you know, next year they'll be $20, the year after that, or two years after they'll be $10, maybe, and so on. Sure. I didn't really find it. Well, I mean, it's it's basically a better version of Spiral Knights, right? You just go around punching stuff, but like in prettier graphics and stuff. I guess. So, if you had to sort of rate the components of it, like how do the graphics rate? Oh man, I don't know. If, like, they're they're not mind blowing, but. You know, they're better than any other RPG I've seen, but only because, like, the, the last good RPG was Oblivion, which is, I don't know how many years ago that it came out. Okay. And what about the, um, story? How would you I was that? skipping through it, you know, <laughs> actually. I think I wasn't paying attention partially because we were talking and, and partially because I, I don't like games where, you know, what, what I say is not what I wanted to say. Mm-hmm. And how about the difficulty level? At first it was pretty easy because, you know, you just keep mashing attacks, but I'm starting to understand the um, the mechanics now. Like, I, I get when you're supposed to use the two weapons versus one. I get how healing works. I get how uh, the axe attacks work. So I, it looks like there there will be some depth in, in the game in that sense. Like, it's not just, just keep hitting attack, attack, attack over and over again. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was playing on normal, and I came close to dying a few times, but uh, it didn't seem like I was ever in really any real in danger, real danger because, it like you know, you can just dodge like crazy, I'd... and then right. to get out of trouble, and then start healing, and just keep dodging while you heal up, and then get right. back into the fight. Yeah, which is fine. I mean, I think. Um, this is the type of game, like Spiral Knights, I'm just gonna, you know, get some friends. I'm assuming it's multiplayer capable. I, I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure Perhaps. it is. The first two were. Then okay. each one and then each two. So, you know, grab a bunch of friends and we just go around punching stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I guess that's it. It has received a lukewarm response from critics. 
according to Wikipedia. Right. It currently has a Metacritic score of seven in the low 70s. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not bad, but probably not worth 50 bucks. Right. Okay. 